Okay, so I figured I would make a quick video on how to fix a common error you may get if you're trying to install Windows 98 virtual machine on Linux Kubuntu. And basically, it, the solution is going to seem sort of like a cop-out, but for me, it's the easiest solution. There's a whole bunch of different software guides, and I tried those. They didn't really work for me. I'm pretty sure where the issue lies is actually in the hardware of the host machine. So what you have to do, you actually have to install Kubuntu and the Oracle VM on a completely separate older computer. And for me that worked fine. So just for an example, on this current machine, I'm running a Ryzen processor, which is a almost a brand new processor, and a for the video card it's an RX 580, which is an older video card. But still, I think the issue lies within the the processor and the motherboard. So I'll go. I'll keep going through the Windows 98 setup here, so you can see the error message, and then I'll transfer it over to my older computer, and you'll see it'll work. The installation works completely fine. So we'll go ahead and skip to that error message. Okay, so the virtual machine is going to ask you to reboot a couple of times. This, I believe, is the second reboot. So we're going to go ahead and boot from the hard disk since it's already. Most of the files have been installed. It's going to try to set up the plug and play devices, and this is going to take a few seconds. And this is where the problem comes in. It should pop something up here. We'll say something like explorer.exe has the SE right there. This program will be shut down. We'll go to the details, and it's something wrong with explorer.exe. So, like I said, the only way I know to fix this is to actually switch the hardware. So I'm going to go record some video on my older Kubuntu machine, and you'll see the installation goes completely fine. Okay, so here we are on my second machine. We're going to go ahead and start up our Windows 98 boot here. I already took care of the installation just to save time. But as you can see, we're getting Windows 98. And it should boot up right into... Well, it's going to ask for our password first, so we'll type in our password. And as you can see, we're running Windows 98. For some reason, I couldn't record sound on my other machine. I'm not sure why it's not coming through. But yeah, like I said, that's the only way I know how to fix the issue. It may be a driver issue inside of Oracle Box. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it seems like newer machines can't run... Uh, can't run the Windows 98 virtual machine. I'm not sure why, but for the amount of work involved, like I said, I've seen a few guides online of how to do it uh, through software. You can add different drivers to the virtual machine, but that's kind of sketchy and iffy, so for me at least, this was the easiest method to, to get a Windows 98 virtual machine working on Linux Kubuntu. And as you can see, we're uh, starting up in Carta 1994. That was my initial plan to make this video was to do a, a video just on Encarta 1994, but I had so many issues trying to get the Windows 98 virtual machine running on my current hardware, I decided to make this second video. So maybe I'll make a secondary video on just Encarta 1994, but we'll see. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.